Alright, back with another decode for the first time in a long time. This one's going to be on building the foundation for a rich life. It's kind of like one of my philosophy um, type decodes, like basically inner, you know, like connecting all these concepts together and, and you know, proving how all these things are, are interconnected and ultimately connect back to one central concept, which is the title of this deco building the foundation for a, a rich life. Um, you know, do in, it all goes back to one very special number, but, um, yeah. So to build the foundation for a rich life, one must focus on adopting the qualities of a person capable of building a rich life. Often, this calls for many years of being alone, not having friends, not having romantic relationships, and not even having as much time for family. To focus on building the correct foundation within to eventually achieve what you want to in this life. Having said this, foundation, rich life, and alone equal 47. Yep, the big 47. Of course, 47, you know, connects to Freemasonry, but I'm not even going to get into that. Um, but I will say this real quick. Um, you know, I could have included the, uh, you know, how Freemasonry is big. You know, they they stress um, how it's important to build the correct foundation, building, you know, something. But it also can be said of exactly what I'm saying here, building the right foundation within. Um, and that's why the Freemasonic compass is set to how many degrees? 47. Okay. So now that I've got that out the way. Before going out into the world and making something of yourself, it's best, if not a must, to get to know yourself, to see what you like and don't like you know, what your values are, etc., you know, things of that nature, just, you know, get to know yourself. Um, and to know yourself requires much introspection, and specifically, meditation is a great practice for getting to know yourself, sitting in the silence, and, uh, you know, observing your thoughts. Doing this will bring clarity into your life, which will help you make choices, for example, career choices, that truly resonate. In addition, meditation, clarity, and resonate all equal 47 as well. What I have already shown and what I have yet to show are parts to the formula of excellence, as I've called it here, what it can accurately be called. Um, and it's no surprise that the phrase the formula and the word excellence both equal 47. Like I'm literally exposing a divine formula for a good life, for a positive life, a rich life, an abundant life, whatever you want to call it. So before continuing, just make sure to like this, share it, and subscribe. But anyways, continuing. For men who are purpose-driven, especially young men, I see it personally as a must to practice celibacy to some degree so that you have more time and energy to focus on your goals. And why I say specifically young men to especially do this is because, I mean, in my own life, semen retention has probably been the number one most beneficial factor in, in my evolution, really, because it's really helped me build um, a solid foundation very early on in life. You know, I, I think that's very, a very important factor. But um, anyways, when one practices celibacy or semen retention, they balance out their root chakra, which is associated with the sexual organs. This chakra is considered the foundation for all other chakras because it's literally the base chakra the first so again i see it crucial or at least best 
to balance the chakra out first. You know, once someone has done this, they've raised their vibration, you know, automatically. You know, once someone has balanced out their root chakra, been practicing semen retention slash celibacy for a good little little bit, um, they have, that person has raised their vibration. They've become one step closer in their evolution to becoming their higher self. Uh, back, backing up what I'm saying. Root chakra, vibration, evolution, and higher self all equal 47. But whether you know it or not, everything you do in life is you investing in whatever it is that you're doing. So make sure that whatever you're doing eventually pays off in some way, shape, or form. Understand that you have to get, I mean, excuse me, you have to give to get. You won't get your desired outcome if you don't give the appropriate time, energy, and or money to whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Now that I've mentioned time, never, never forget that time is your most valuable asset, so use it wisely. Having said all this, investing pays give to get, and time, all equal 47. Very often, consistency and willpower are needed to obtain one's desires. Of course, consistency, willpower, and desires all equal 47. To achieve an abundant mindset and ultimately be truly abundant, you must be positive, because whether you believe it or not, a positive state of being helps tremendously in leading a positive life. I mean, it's really common sense. Having an abundant or positive mindset brings on what most will simply call luck, but really it was your positive attitude that created favorable or ideal circumstances for yourself. We all have the ability to transmute the Force, yes, that is a Star Wars reference, uh, in order to create desirable outcomes for ourselves. And guess what? Force equals, yep, you're correct, 47. But, um, yeah, that's the power of the human mind slash human brain. Therefore, if you want abundance in your, in your life, then you must Go through a certain process of inner cultivation for abundance, you know, to be re for you to receive it. By the way, it is specifically the neocortex that is responsible for the function of perception in the brain. And one needs to change their perception to one of positivity and or abundance if it is not already of uh, one of positivity or abundance. And just a little side note, think about the matrix and in, in you know how how it's all about perception and I'm literally talking about the matrix movies and who is the main character? Neo. They they got it from Neo Cortex. Neo, just that name Neo equals forty seven as well, by the way. And what do they call Neo in the Matrix? They call him the One, because he's the Chosen One. And One, of course, equals 47 as well, because One is just Neo respelled, or, well, vice versa, actually. But, um, yeah, so, furthermore, you know, all those emphasized phrases... Um, that I went over in this paragraph are positive, luck, force, human brain, human mind, cultivation, and neocortex. They all equal 47. Finally, let's say you're like me and want to be rich in every aspect of life. I mean, who doesn't, right? First, you have to already be rich. 
what I mean by that is you have to make your default or natural state of being a rich one. Ideally, before even taking the necessary action to create the rich life you desire. If you can't look in the mirror and honestly say, I'm rich, I am rich, then that's how you know you've got some work to do. Whether that be, you know, inner work, out of work, or both. To get whatever you want out of life, the key is to be one with whatever you want. The key is to be, okay? That's important. That's why I wrote it in all caps. Alright, so you want true love. Be truly lovely. You want happiness. Be happy. You want peace. Be peaceful. You want wealth. Be wealthy. I understand that most are not going to get what I've said here because it requires a certain level of self-awareness to truly grasp. But again, the key is to be. And not coincidentally, be one and I am rich. All equal 47. Yeah, that's all I had to say. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.